Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this back to school flyer. I'm starting off on Canva with the Instagram post size 1080 by 1080 PX. I'm gonna go to elements and then type in chalkboard and go to photos and add the background. Now I'm gonna start adding the text. I'm gonna change the font to moon time, type in the back two, and then change the font size to 144. Duplicate that, change the text, and then I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna make it all caps and then resize it to 132. I'm duplicating the text again, changing the font to horizon, and then changing the font size to 73. We're gonna change the spacing to 239. Now that I have the title, I'm gonna add the search bar. So I'm typing that in in elements. I'm gonna go to graphics and I'm choosing the second one. I'm gonna duplicate the text again and change it um, to the font and then make it all uppercase. Changed the font color to black and then made it 18.5 for the size. Now that I have the text, it's time to add the folder. Um, I couldn't find it at first, but if you type in file folder, it should probably pop up. I had to go through my recents to find it. Now, because of the sizing and the placement of everything, this is going to be way difficult until you have everything on the page and can see it. So I'm going to do a lot of moving around just to try to get it to where I need it to be. So just take your time and don't rush it. Now I got the folder on there somewhat decent. I'm going to add this piece of ripped paper. I uploaded this PNG to my Canva. So if you're interested in using the same exact one to see what you can do with it, um, you can download it in the description. Right now, I'm just resizing and moving stuff around um, to get the right placement so I can get it as close as possible to the original that I had made. This doesn't really matter too much now because once everything's on there, I'm gonna go back through and make sure um, everything's in the right spot. Now I'm adding the pencil. I'm gonna go to elements and type that in and choose one of the first ones. Now that I got that, I'm gonna duplicate the text and change it to the bundle deals. I'm gonna change the size down to 64 and tilts it to where it looks like it's written on the page. Now I'm gonna go back to elements and go to shapes and choose a circle, make it white and size it to go in the right corner. I'm duplicating the text and I'm gonna resize it, change the color and use it for the circle part. The font size is 20. you
for the coupon code part, I'm just going to duplicate the text again and use the moon time font and change that font down to 56. Now I'm gonna add the sticky notes. At first I couldn't find them, so I had to go back to my recents. But if you type in colorful sticky notes, it should pop up. For the bundle part and all the pricing, um, I'm not really going to explain this. I basically just duplicated the same text that I had used for the um, use the code below. And I'm just putting in the different links and the prices for the bundles. I just ended up copy and pasting from the original that I had made so I wouldn't have to go through and type everything in and take extra time. But now I'm just tweaking everything and fixing it um, so everything looks like it's placed right before I add the hair PNG. I'm going to show you all how I did that now. I'm going to click off a of Canva and go to PixArt and open up a blank canvas. Well, I already had this open, so this is from earlier. But I'm going to do that and take the photo that I had saved off Pinterest. I'm cropping the model at the photo, so it's just a wig head on the stand. And then I'm going to do the cutout and I'm going to go through and tweak it as I see fit um, until I get the look that I want. Pixar makes it really easy for you to do this, but take your time because you don't want to leave anything on there that's going to stand out and ruin your flyer. I'm thinking about making a video on the different ways that I do my PNG cutouts. Um, let me know if you'll be interested in the comments below. But anyways, that quick, we got our cutout and we can go to Canva, upload it, and then add it on. Now that I added the wig head, all I'm going to do is tilt it and make sure it's placed in the right spot. And now that I have the full picture, I can move everything around and uh, see what needs to be tweaked and resized. Now we're finished. I'm just going through and tweaking everything, making sure it's all okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in buying this pre-made template that I showed you how to make in this video, it's available on my Etsy shop. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.